Okay, you guys, Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Masters, directed by Rennie Harlan, and stars Tuesday Night. Yes, what type of name is that for a kid? What parents name their kid Tuesday Night? Anyway, she takes over Patricia Arquette's part as Kristen, Kristen, um, something, I can't remember her last name. Oh, Kristen Parker. There we go. From 3. Okay. And Freddy's come back to kill the final three um, Elm, uh, the Elm Street children. He can't get to the new uh, breed of Elm Street children unless they are passed passed, um, passed on through somebody else. And of course something happens and Kristen accidentally brings Alice into one of her dreams and basically passes her dream on to Alice. And then so she gives Alice her powers and if you've seen the film, you know what I'm talking about by powers, okay? So now Alice has the ability to bring everybody else into her dream. And now we have a new breed of killing, okay? Now, this film is without a doubt the third best film in the series. I mean, one, three, and four. Can we get it? Can the whole series? It would have been awesome if the whole series was just fucking awesome, okay? But it's not that it's not going to be that true. But yeah, the third best one? Oh my god, we're on a roll here, people. I mean, damn. I think it's pretty good in here. I mean, I liked it. I finally know who sings my favorite song anytime. Anything, anything. So that's pretty cool. I didn't even know that was an 80s song. I thought that was like something from 2008 or so. It don't even sound old. <laughs> so, yeah. I love the little 80s vibe in here. And man, the movie has some good kills good kills. I mean, damn. I like the kills better in this one than probably all of them combined because it's more I guess you could say it's more a little bit more innovative in this one because you uh like the pizza, yeah, that was pretty cool. I like that shit. Kind of gross though, but it's pretty fucking awesome though. And you can't go on a mention Nightmare on Elm Street without mentioning how good Robert England is. I mean, come on. That's just a man. Just a fucking man. Okay? Man. Look. I'm not going to sugarcoat this review. Okay? I'm going to say how I feel. How I feel this movie should get. Okay? Not only is it the third best film in the series, it is my favorite by far. I know I said part three is probably my favorite, but this is elevated past three. Okay? Because three, I'd never seen before until last night. So that was my first time watching it. I've seen four at least two more times on regular TV. This is the first time I've ever seen the actual cut of four. So, yeah. Without a doubt, this movie gets my badass seal of approval. It, it's just that fucking awesome, okay? And this won't be the last time we see Tuesday night. Nope. She shows, she shows up, shows, shows up. In another nightmare film that we'll get to pretty soon. We are three movies away, people. Four movies are now in the can. Let me know what you guys think about Nightmare on Elm Street 4 down below. Did y'all like it? Did y'all hate it? What was your best kill in this movie? Let me know down below. And I'll see y'all soon.